हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्रामा क्लास टुडे इज टॉपिक इज द इन्फिनेटिव सो व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द इन्फिनेटिव यू सी द इन्फिनेटिव इज अ नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब दैट आल्सो एक्ट्स एज अ नाउन और एन एडजेक्टिव और एन एडवर्ब सो वी लर्न दैट द इन्फिनेटिव इज अ वर्ब दैट प्लेज मल्टीपल रोल्स इट मे एक्ट एज अ नाउन or an adjective or an adverb in the sentence but how do you identify an infinitive what is the identity or structure of an infinitive an infinitive is formed by adding to before the base form of the verb and that is why it is called the to verb so remember that an infinitive is made from the root form of a verb by adding to before it so it is also called the to infinitive in english grammar now let's look at some examples on your screen i want to play here to play is the infinitive it's a non finite verb because it does not change with the change in the person or number of the subject it is good to exercise daily to exercise is the infinitive in the second sentence in the third sentence to swim is a good exercise to swim is the infinitive so to play to exercise and to swim are the three infinitives in these three examples now let's learn the various uses of infinitives in the sentences an infinitive may be used as the subject of a verb in such a case it's a noun to a is human to swim is a good exercise in these two sentences to a and to swim are the subjects and they are both infinitives so we see that an infinitive may come as a subject in the sentence well uh, an infinitive may also come as the object of a verb in the sentence in such a case too it is a noun for example he wants to play here to play is an infinitive which serves as the object of the verb wants i agreed to perform here to perform is an infinitive that is the object to the verb agreed and in both these sentences the two infinitives are used as nouns then the infinitive may also come in the sentence as the complement of a verb in such a case it is used as a noun a complement is a word or a phrase that completes the sense of a sentence for example her greatest joy is to dance in this sentence to dance is an infinitive that is used as the complement of verb be is his hobby is to read here too to read is an infinitive that is serving as the complement of verb be is here the two infinitives to dance and to read are called complements because without them the sentences are incomplete they do not make a complete sense well the infinitive may also be used as the object of a preposition it's also a noun here the match is about to start you have no choice but to surrender in these two sentences the two infinitives to start and to surrender are the objects of the prepositions about and but respectively to start is the object of the preposition about and to surrender is the object of the preposition but the infinitive has some other uses too like uh, it may qualify a noun as an adjective he has a house to sell here a house is a noun and to sell which is the infinitive is uh, qualifying uh, the noun a house i need some water to drink to drink is the infinitive which is acting as an adjective to qualify the noun water so here to sell and to drink are qualifying the two nouns a house and water the infinitive may also qualify an adjective in that case it becomes an adverb it is easy to promise here to promise uh, is an infinitive which is uh, qualifying the adjective easy they are ready to fight 
टू फाइड इज द इन्फिनेटिव क्वालिफाइंग द एजेक्टिव रेडी सो टू प्रोमिस एंड टू फाइड आर एक्टिंग एज एडवर्ब्स इन दिज टू सेंटेंसेज मोर ओवर एन इन्फिनेटिव मे क्वालिफाई अ वर्ब इन द सेंटेंस इन सच ए केस इट एक्ट एज एन एडवर्ब फॉर एग्जाम्पल ईट टू लीव नॉट लीव टू ईट हियर टू लीव इज एन इन्फिनेटिव विच इज क्वालिफाइंग द वर्ब ईट and to eat is also an infinitive which is qualifying the verb leave he came to meet me in this sentence to meet is an infinitive which is modifying the verb came and if an infinitive modifies a verb it acts as an adverb so by now it is clear that an infinitive 2 plus v1 is made from a verb but it is used as a noun or an adjective or an adverb an infinitive however may qualify a sentence as well for example to tell the truth i don't care for him here to tell the truth is an infinitive phrase which is qualifying the sentence i don't care for him to put it simply he has given up here to put it simply is an infinitive phrase which is qualifying he has given up in addition an infinitive may also come as an objective complement in other words it may come after the object of a transitive verb to complete its meaning she forced him to resign to resign is an infinitive which is coming as the objective complement of the object him of the transitive verb forced i asked him to follow here to follow is an infinitive asked is the transitive verb whose object is him so to follow is the objective complement of him now infinitives serve another very important purpose they contract a sentence by combining two or more clauses and also join two or more sentences as a simple sentence now see some examples on your screen he is so short that he cannot play basketball in this sentence there are two clauses he is so short and he cannot play basketball these two clauses will be contracted or shortened with the help of an infinitive he is too short to play basketball here the infinitive is to play which is contracting the above sentence he is so rich that he can buy a villa here also there are two clauses he is so rich and he can buy a villa and these two clauses are being merged with the help of an infinitive he is rich enough to buy a villa here the infinitive to buy is contracting the sentence now see how i am going to combine or join two independent sentences as a simple sentence with the help of an infinitive he visited india he wished to see the taj these are the two separate sentences he visited india to see the taj mahal here to see is an infinitive which is joining the two sentences as a simple sentence in passive voice infinitives have a different structure 2 plus b plus v3 or past participle in present tense to have been plus v3 or past participle in past tense we all want to be loved to be loved passive infinitive in present tense the child is presumed to have been abducted to have been abducted is passive infinitive in the past tense what are perfect infinitives perfect infinitives refer to the activities of the past time to have plus third form of the verb in active voice and to have been plus third form of the verb in passive voice for example he seemed to have forgotten me here to have forgotten me is a perfect infinitive in active voice he is believed to have been murdered to have been murdered is a perfect infinitive in the passive voice to have forgotten and to have been murdered refer to activities of the past now let's learn about bare infinitives we know that 2 plus the first form of the verb is called the infinitive however in certain cases the characteristic 2 is not used before the first form of the verb in the infinitive such infinitives are called bare infinitives for example the bare infinitive is used after modal verbs look at the examples on your screen seeing pass come go are all bare infinitives coming after modals can could will and need respectively 
the bare infinitive or the infinitive without to is also used after some verbs of perception for example see hear watch feel etc i saw him run away here run is a bare infinitive coming after the finite verb so which is a verb of perception we hear her weep at night weep is a bare infinitive coming after the verb of perception here in this sentence the bare infinitive or the infinitive without to also comes after some verbs like bid make let help dare etc bid him go away here go is a bare infinitive coming after the verb bid let me tell you a story here tell is a bare infinitive coming after the verb let i made him laugh laugh is also an example of a bare infinitive coming after the transitive verb made in this sentence so you have to remember these handful of verbs after which the bare infinitive is used in the sentences well then the bare infinitive is also used after certain phrases like had better had rather would rather sooner than rather than and so on now see some examples of the bare infinitive used after these phrases you had better leave now here leave is a bare infinitive coming after the phrase had better she would sooner die than beg here die and beg are both bare infinitives coming after the phrase would sooner i would study rather than play here play is a bare infinitive coming after the phrase rather than so it's clear now in which cases we have to use the bare infinitive and where we have to use the to infinitive now uh, on your screen uh, is given a list of the verbs after which only the to infinitive can be used and not a gerund or the ing form of the verb used as a noun well here are the verbs after which only the to infinitive can be used agree appear seem arrange begin beg care decide fail hope expect refuse want wish trust pretend continue afford learn seem threaten propose etc after all these verbs uh, only the to infinitive can be used and not a gerund we must remember after which verbs the infinitive can be used and after which verbs the gerund can be used last but not the least let's talk about the errors of the split infinitive we must not put an adverb in between to and the first form of the verb in the infinitive for example i beg to respectfully state this is wrong because the adverb respectfully is not supposed to come in between to and the first form of state the correction is i beg to state respectfully the point is the use of the split infinitive should be avoided that's the end of today's class hopefully you liked the video please be sure to like comment share and subscribe to my channel for more grammar video lessons thank you so much for watching the video until the end